Shout out to FKA Twigs. What's up, YouTube? My name is David. And this is my dog, Boss. He is a 12 year old puppy and he just got his first haircut of the year. He was all shaggy and now he looks like a teddy bear. So everybody say hi to Boss. I love him very much. Bye buddy, hope you find your dad. Anyways, in today's video, I'm going to check out and review some of the best beatboxers on Instagram. Many of you over the past weeks and months have been sending me links to beatboxers on Instagram in my DMs saying, hey, check this guy out. He has an insane bass or check this girl's technique out. And it's cool to see because Instagram is a completely different platform from YouTube. YouTube is more centered around longer videos, full of information and longer performances and full routines and things like that. Whereas Instagram is a much more passive, casual Visual platform where you have a very dense amount of content that you really need to package in something that's only about 15 to 30 seconds long. However, some artists have become masters of this, but some of them are beatboxers that are just sharing their talents on multiple platforms as well. So one last thing before I get started, thank you all so Thank you all so much for the support over the past months. I am, as you're watching this video, I will probably just be passing 30,000 subscribers on YouTube. So thank you so much for that from your average music nerd in the middle of nowhere in North Dakota to all of you on the internet. Thank you. I hope you're all staying safe and sane at home and I hope this video and more from me in the future can keep you entertained. Without any further ado, let's get things started. So the first artist we're going to check out on Instagram is this guy named TJ, TJ Beast Boy, TJ Baby Brain, whatever you want to call him. His handle is Tattle. This dude is super nice. I've talked to him a few times and he is ridiculously talented. He's a great musician, great artist. I think he is a bit newer at beatboxing but do not underestimate this guy. He has the most ridiculous vibration bass I have ever heard. It's, let's just, let's just check him out. I'll, you'll see what, you'll see what I mean pretty soon. All right, I'm ready for this. Yeah, there is a really awesome Suicide Boys cover that is, I think this one, but I'm not going to play it because copyright stuff, but definitely go check it out. I'm going to leave his Instagram link in the description and for all the other people on this video as well. Yeah, it's good. He's a good singer too. I will kill your army on my own. What? Yo, we gotta check that one. We gotta listen to that one again. This bass. Wow. So you guys get the picture there. TJ is a monster at throat bass and vibration bass. He has some crazy good pocket and just musicality in general. You can tell that he knows what a beat needs to sound like to sound good and for people to be able to vibe to it. So yeah, absolute beast, really awesome. Complex beatboxing is 
obviously very impressive, but I think something that needs a bit more emphasis put on it is beatboxing that just sounds really good. And super heavy bass stuff like that just sounds really good. So shout out to TJ. Let's slide over to another artist on Instagram that a lot of you beatboxers are probably already a lot more familiar with. The next beatboxer that many people have recommended that I check out is Chung Bao. And right now him and Chihuahua are putting out a lot of really awesome content on Instagram. They're doing these couple of beatboxing challenges. They're really creative. I haven't seen anybody do anything like this before and they're really good. So let's let's check a couple of these out. Yo Chihuahua. Beatbox challenge. <laughs> <laughs> They copy like perfectly. Yeah. What is that? What are they doing? What is that noise? <laughs> oh, the lip roll. There, there is that. There's that very famous lip roll that I've heard of, like the inward side lip roll. I don't know, they're, they're doing this like chirping noise um, and I'm not really sure what they're doing. If you know, let me know in the comments. Shout out to Chung Bao and Chihuahua. This is a really cool idea. And uh, I've seen it all over Instagram now, like their videos being reposted on pages. So obviously other people are liking it too. Yo Chihuahua, check Love out my lowest face. face. <laughs> Yo, Yo, that was crazy. Uh, there was a lot in that video going on. So I was doing some sort of like chirp noise. I think it's like some inhaled thing or something like in your sinuses. I have no idea what she's doing, but it sounds pretty sweet. Um, I think Trong Bao was doing some sort of inhaled bass there. It was super low. And then she threw in a polyphonic sort of thing too. That was really cool. Yeah, that was crazy. Shout out to Hershey. She's Yo, in this Chihuahua. video. Big boss challenge. <laughs> Rick and Morty T, yeah, I like it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. I tried. <laughs> Yeah, that was crazy. Anyways, yeah, wow. Shout out to Chung Bao and Chihuahua. These are two amazing beatboxers and they're putting out some really creative and awesome content. So find their link in the description of this video and give them some love. The next artist I'm going to check out is one of the first beatboxers that I ever saw. This guy was huge on Vine back in the day. He has kind of dipped out a little bit, which is completely understandable, but I know he's still around. He comments on my videos every once in a while. Shout out to Marcus Perez. We are going to dig through your Instagram and pick out some gems because there is some amazing beatboxing on here. Pretty much anytime I think of Vine, I think of Marcus Perez because him and 80 Fitz were like the two beatboxers that pretty much took over Vine and made beatboxing cool on it, I feel like. Siri, what's a trillion to the 10th power? Let me check that. I remember this. The answer is one zero 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 I'm looking for a partner. Yes, someone knows how to ride. Without even falling off. Yes, gotta be compatible. Yes, yes, gotta take me to my limits. Yes, yes, girl, when I break you off. Probably the best singing beatboxer that I've ever heard, which is something that I think people should utilize more, is singing while beatboxing because it just sounds amazing if you can do it really well. And he's really good at it. His throat bass is, I'm not going to say nothing too special, but it's nothing like super low or crazy. But he has such an iconic sounding throat bass that anytime you hear it, anytime any beatboxer hears it or anyone that knows him, they know it's his throat bass. It's just a really iconic, easy to recognize sound. I'm a rock the boat. I'm a rock rock. I'm a I'm a I'm a rock the boat. Work a little till it hurt a little. 
Shout out to Marcus Perez. I can't even start to imagine Vine and Vines that I used to watch without immediately thinking of your Vines in your videos, so thank you. Okay, last but definitely not least is Hershey. She's one of the first people in the beatboxing community that kind of reached out to me and was like, hey, your videos are cool. I'm like, thanks. So anyway, she is a beast of a beatboxer. <laughs> talk about that i don't even know what's going on there i think you showed me that one like uh that one bass thing one time but i completely forgot how you did it she's a dope dj too and she puts out some really good music oh this looks like beatboxing i hope it's beatboxing <laughs> this is so crisp How do you do that? It's like a, it's like rolling off. Ah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Out of here. And that video right there just goes to show that you don't necessarily need something super low and super bassy to make a beatboxing routine sound really good. Big shout out to Hershey and all the other beatboxers in this video. All of you are amazing artists and I'm glad I found you over the years and even over the past months as well. So that is all I have for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope you are staying home and staying safe and watching all of my videos and following me on Instagram because yeah. If you have any more specific suggestions of things you want to see me do or react to or review or show you how to do, please leave a comment below. I read all the comments in my videos because I really care about what you have to say and what you're interested in. So thank you all so much for the support. I really appreciate it. And until next time.